Hi everyone, it's Ernest from Vingle Tips here. And today we are going to be talking about a new perk app. Well, not new, but it's new to our YouTube page. And that is the perk wallet. Uh, let's open perk wallet. There are some advantages to using the perk wallet. First, it's gonna to try to get you to get the perk plastic. This is a pretty basic app. There's not a lot to it. I'm not gonna go through the menu stuff on the side. It's all the same as it was before. Uh, like I said, in any of the apps, they're the same. So what you're gonna see here is it's gonna advertise some gift cards like Target, Starbucks, Nike, uh, I think that's American Eagle. As you can see, my point total is 1,023 because I just redeemed a card earlier today. But to go into gift cards, just click the spend button right here, or tap it, I should say, and then go into buy gift cards. Now the get cash, I should tell you, the get cash part, is just a Perk Plastic promotion. And right here you can see, now you can list everything A to Z if you want. I mean, if you're getting down to something like, you know, Whole Foods or Zappos or something like that, you're gonna be scrolling for a minute. Here's the plus of the Perk Wallet, one of them, is that the Amazon card, when you order it through the Perk Wallet, it comes at a discount. The, the card prices right now are the same, 350 for, I mean, who wants 25 cents on an Amazon card? I don't do anything less than $10, really. As you can see, it's pretty much a $1 to 1,000 point ratio once you hit the two, uh, one, sorry, once you hit the $5 range. But here's where the discount comes in. Because normally a $25 gift card for any gift card is 25,000 perk points. However, if you scroll down here, you can see that a $25 card through the Perk Wallet app is only $24,250. So that is a 750 point discount. Not so bad. And the discount is larger with the $50 and with the $100. I mean, you're up to 3,000 points off when you order a $100 card. So that's pretty cool uh, right there. That's one of the pluses. Now, Amazon is the only gift card that offers a discount. No other cards have a discount. I think there were some that were a $1, or I'm sorry, a $10 card was like $99.99 instead of 10,000 points. So I think that was Sephora. So you might get a couple of points difference, but in general, it's going to be the one to 1,000 rule, except for Amazon. This is the only card that gives a discount right here. And so I ordered through it today. Now, if we go back to buy gift cards, and go back again, go back to our main page here. You can see where it says your perk rewards, meaning mine. So I can click see all. These are all the gift cards that I have redeemed for since being a perk user. And I've been a perk user since before uh, it bought Viggle. If I tap on one of these cards, it will actually show me the gift card code. So I can always go back and double check what's been put in and what hasn't. Now, if I wanna see what's pending, like the card that I got today, what I'm going to do is up at the top here where it says active, if I just tap that bar, I can scroll here in this little menu to pending and then click done over here on the left. And here's the $25 card that I redeemed for earlier today. Today is a Saturday. Gift cards are handed out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, whatever the next day is for you once you redeem your card. Now, if you order it on a Monday, most likely that's not going to happen until Wednesday, but it kind of depends. I remember ordering a gift card at like three in the morning Eastern time on a Monday, and I didn't get it till Wednesday. So if you're ordering it the day of, don't expect it that day. Expect it the next day gift card day, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So here's my one pending card that I got today for $24,250. And it'll tell me this card is scheduled to be available on March 28th. That is Monday. So that's good. So I can close that. Um, like I said, here's, uh, I haven't, the used is empty. So here's active. I can go back in and get any of these gift cards. And sometimes we kind of, I've had this happen to me and other people have too, that they forgot that they had a gift card that they haven't entered into Amazon yet. So sometimes it might be good to go through here, get the gift codes and put them into Amazon just to see if they're, you know, if you used them or not. And once you did, mark them as used. Kind of the way you do in Swagbucks. Once you get a gift card in my gift card section, um, you can mark it as used. That way it's not showing up as a new card and you can kind of track where you're at. 
So we're going to go back to my wallet. So that's what that's basically the ins and outs of this. All your rewards are here. You click spend to get to buy gift cards here and you can scroll through. Now, there is one little hiccup with these gift cards and there is a bit of a discount on another one, but we don't redeem. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I know it sounds like I'm talking sideways. Let me be clear on this. The PayPal gift card is quite expensive on Perk. I always tell people, go get the PayPal card at Swagbucks because a $25 PayPal card on Perk is 35,000 points, not 25,000. It's almost like, you know, there's a hike just for having cash or something. And to me, it's really illogical. I know business types sit around a Perk conference table and think that this is normal. But to us users, you know, of course, we see it very differently. In this app, um, there is a discount on that price. So as I said, a $25 PayPal card is 35,000 points, not 25,000. But if you go in through to the app here, it is less than 35,000. A $25 card is 33,500. 33,500. So that is a knockoff of the price. If you go to the website and redeem, you're going to pay 35,000 for a $25 card. If you go through the wallet, you're going to pay 33,500 for a $25 card. So it's a 1500 uh, 1500 point discount, but it's still well and above the 1 to 1000 ratio. So I always tell people unless you just really need it through the Perk app, if you're a Swagbucks user, then redeem for PayPal through Swagbucks. If you're a huge Perk user and you're a big earner and you don't mind paying 3350 for this, then do so through the app. I don't do it but to each his own. Uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do and what not to do. I'm just going to tell you what works best for me. If you want a discount on something, get your Amazon through Perk uh, partially or, you know, whatever you want. You can get any amount on here of anything. I mean, there's even a QVC card for heaven's sakes. Um, you know, you can get $25 or $50 toward QVC, which is all kinds of cool stuff. Red Robin, restaurant.com is always a cool thing. I think the Sephora card Yes, the Sephora $10 card is the one that was $9999. That's basically the ins and outs of the Perk Wallet app. It is a good way to manage your rewards, uh, especially for those of you that are more phone or tablet based in life and don't really crack open a computer very often. Obviously, I do because of my work. But for those that really deal with anything internet related over their phone, this can be very handy for you. Um, you can track all your rewards here. Of course, when you redeem for a gift card, they're gonna send you a verification code just the way Viggle used to do uh, when you redeem through them. And if you're already on your phone, then it's just right there in front of you. So there's that convenience as well. You don't have to shuffle between two devices just to get a gift card. As I showed you in the previous video, when you search the App Store, let me show you how to do this. Open up the App Store. I'm going to show you this real quick. I'm not going to do this in every video. But when you search the App Store for Perk Wallet, and I'm on an iPad, it's not going to show up because it's showing iPad apps. But in the upper left corner, if you where it says iPad only, if you tap it and choose iPhone only, there's the Perk Wallet right there. This says it's made for iPhone, but obviously you can put it on an iPad and you can do that legally. You're not cracking anything like you do on an Android trying to get you know, a phone app onto an Android tablet. This, this is the way it is in the App Store, so you're okay to download it. That's the ins and outs of the Perk Wallet. Um, your points are always right there. You can just click this little thing in the upper right corner and refresh for whatever is going on. Mark your gift cards as used. If you have any tips about this particular app, leave it in the comments below. Let us know. We're always glad to hear it and pass it along. If you have another tip about any Perk app or anything, you can always go to vigletips.com ask and drop it right in there. All right, thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with a friend that might be new to Perk and needs some help. We are slowly going through these apps one at a time, and I'm making videos for every single one of them eventually. We'll get there. I promise you we will. So share it with a friend. Click like, and be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any future updates. Subscribe to youtube.com slash TV. All right, thank you for watching. We'll see you out there.